Hello everybody, this is Argon Matrix, looking at episode 70 freaking 1 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we encountered ourself. We're the mini boss. No way. Okay, so there's a few ways you can beat this guy. My favorite is just to use the Megaton Hammer. Seriously, because he, he can't copy that or anything. Because basically he copies your every move. So whenever you strike with your sword, he'll strike with your so his sword. And as you hit him more... He will actually gain his own his own fight. He will develop his own fighting technique, so he'll like swing his sword on his own sometimes. But if you use the Megaton Hammer, as you can see, this fight is a total pushover. Yep, you can also use Din's Fire, but that consumes magic power, so I'm not a fan. Uh, I suppose I, sh I could have been epic and tried to beat him with my sword, but uh, maybe we'll save that for a bonus episode or something, I don't know. Showing me beating Dark Link with my sword on three heart run, maybe. That'd be cool. Alright. So that's how you beat Dark Link. Basically, just hit him over and over again with the Megaton Hammer or develop your own strategy for fighting him. I was trying to use a different strategy where I could use my sword, but it wasn't working out for some reason. And oh, look, a big chest. What could this be? Well, we've got the map, we've got the compass, and I don't assume that this is going to be a small key, so it is going to be another hookshot. No! Oh no, it's a long shot. It's an upgraded hookshot. It extends twice as far. Yep. So with that, we can now go to new not to new distances. And here's a song of time block, so obviously song of time. Ah. I kinda thought there for a moment that I was gonna return to the dawn of the first day when I played that, because I've been playing Majora's Mask a little bit lately. And I'm used to that happening, but whatever. Alright, so we coming- Oh, Argon, be careful. Don't get swallowed by the vortexes. Yeah, because that's what I was planning to do, you know? Just walk right into the vortexes. Alright, so basically what you want to do here is just jump in the water. That's basically it, and you're going to have to work your way along here. And be careful, because there is a point where you're going to have to stop and put in your iron boots, because there's a sculptula along the way in this path. Yeah, I know. How mean could they be putting a sculptula in here? And that point is actually right here, I'm pretty sure. I think. I didn't hear it, but I'm pretty sure it's here. Let's see. Okay, can I use my... My long... There we go. My long shot. And, yep, there's the sculpture, just as I said. Nice. Okay, go back. And... Unequip our iron boots. Because we hate iron. It's poisonous, and awful, and terrible. And don't go into the vortexes, ah! And... Get on the platform, dude. There you go. Is there anything over there? No. Um... Yep. Oh, yeah. T this, this part can be a little bit annoying, if you're not fast enough. So you basically want to take your arrows, or your bow, or whatever. You want to fire that. That'll open that gate over there. Take out your long shot quickly, and you have to point at that little chest to pull yourself over. If you're fast enough and have good enough accuracy, you can do it very easily, but otherwise you might have to do a few different tries in order to do that. And with that, we are actually back in this vortex room here. But we have no business being here, so we're just going to leave. Unless this is a different room. I don't, no, it ain't, I don't think it is. I don't think, I don't think there's two rooms like that. Maybe there is, I don't know, maybe I'm just being an idiot. Hey, die, tech type. I hate you. I hate you in your face that you don't have. You'll have, like, one eyeball. That's not a face. That's an eyeball. Damn. Okay, and... Yep. We're gonna work our way back over here. And, yeah, I remember this. You're not gonna trick me this time. I remember that I have to hookshot here. Ha, huh, I can't float up. Well, actually, I can now. Duh, because the water level's high enough. Damn it. Damn it, I thought I was being clever that time, but they got me again. Look at that. That's just horrible. Okay, so we are back out here now. In this big place. And, uh, what am I gonna have to do now? Oh, first things first. I'm gonna actually, before I forget... And, oh, uh, just a second, you guys. I hear something happening upstairs, and you... Oh, my God! Will I be hit by that tech tech? Find out when I cut back in. See you in a second. 
Alright guys, I am back, and it's time for the epic conclusion. Will the tech tie hit me, or will my reflexes be fast enough to kill it before it does? Oh, oh, oh! Yes, my reflexes are indeed fast enough. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is go back towards the area where we got the long shot. Because if you remember, um, let's just get rid of these keys first. Just so they don't get in our way, you know, you know, you know. But there is a skull shot here that we could not previously get with the hook shot. But now that it goes twice as far, we can get it. And that's very helpful. And I believe there's only like a few more sculptures left in this dungeon, or in this temple, I mean. Alright. If I remember now, I think I have to get the water to the second level. Yeah, I think I have to get the water to the middle level. So, uh, yeah, let's go do that. And to do that, oh my god, move a tectite. To do that, we're gonna have to go to the bottom so we can move the... So, so we can move the water to the lowest level, and then move it to the medium level. Yep, it's all very confusing, and it would all be so much easier with Ferrora's Wind, but alas. I, I suppose I could have reinstated my strategy at some point in this temple that, like, I would, like, I could have just, like, used it, and it would have made my strategy start to work again, but, you know what? It's a little bit cheap, so I decided just, no, I'm just gonna do it like normal. Do like you're supposed to. Okay, so we go up here, and then of course we play Zelda's Lullaby to change it to the lowest possible level. The lowest common denominator. Alright. And. Where does all the water go, anyways? Does it drain back out into the lake, and then when the. When we need to come back to raise the water level, then it, like, drains out of the lake again. I don't even know. And, oh crap. Yeah. Uh, see, our goal right now is to go to the, uh, f upper branch of the lower level here. And we could actually do that right now, but it would be impossible for us to do anything there if the water level's not at the second level, I'm pretty sure. And plus, since there, there is actually a skull shell in here that we have to get... And that, that we can now get with the long shot. As you can see, it's right up there. Never really showed that, but whatever. And we got it. I got it, as Mario would say. And, of course, Zelda's Lullaby. Yep, so many tedious things in this temple. Unequip Iron Boots, equip Iron Boots. Play Zelda's Lullaby a million, million times. And, oh my god. At least they have fancy camera angles for whenever the water ri rises, like that. It's always, like, at an awesome angle. Oh, my God. That was a weird, like, glitchy camera thing. It was, like, in and out, in and out, really fast. It was just like, oh, my God. It's going so fast. I can't keep up with it. Okay, so now we're going to go down here. Uh, I think. Oh, don't equip that, dude. Even though you could do this entire temple wearing a Goron tunic. If you have enough hearts. Oh, my God. Go away. Ah. Holy shit. They're chasing me. They're chasing me. And in here, there is going. We are going to. Let's see. Where is that target? There is a target in here, isn't there? Oh no! Duh! Why is the water to the level that it is? I can just float up, dummy. Dan. And come up here. And I don't think you can actually make this with without the long shot. I think you need the long shot. Uh, I just wanted to check something. Just a second. Uh, let's check the map here. Okay, so there's that chest. Alright. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I completely forgot about that, because I, I just realized that there's... I Like, I can see that I need a key for that door over there. Um, And I know that I need actually another key at another door beyond that door. So I actually missed a key. Go figure. This wouldn't be the water temple if we didn't miss at least one key now, would it? No. No, it wouldn't. But thankfully, this key is very easily gotten from where I, from where I am right now. I believe it just has. I just have to go to like the second level of the bottom or something. Not the second. What am I talking about? The second level of the bottom. I mean the lower branch. Yeah, yeah, here because I couldn't get here before because I didn't have the long shot. But now that I do, I can do this. So awesome. And we're encroaching upon ten minutes here. Uh, kill the tectite. 
I think we can get in there before 10 minutes is up. Let's see. Can we do it? And pull ourselves in. Nice. Just in the nick of time, too. Well, not really. We had plenty of time, but whatever. Okay, so let's move over here and... Oh my god, it's a block. What's this block doing here? Find out next time in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.